weighing 156 solid pounds, fighting out of Christiansburg, Virginia, Christian Lights Up Leonard. Here's the thing that makes life so interesting. The theory of evolution claims only the strong shall survive. Maybe so. Maybe so. But the theory of competition says just because they're the strong doesn't mean they can't get their asses kicked. That's right. See, what every long shot come from behind underdog will tell you is this. The other guy may in fact be the favorite. The odds may be stacked against you. Fair enough. But what the odds don't know is this isn't a math test. This is a completely different kind of test. One where passion has a funny way of trumping logic. So before you step up to the starting line, before the whistle blows and the clock starts ticking, just remember out here, the results don't always add up. No matter what the stats may say, and the experts may think, and the commentators may have predicted, when the race is on, all bets are off. Don't be surprised if somebody decides to flip the script and take a pass on yelling uncle. And then suddenly, as the old saying goes, we got ourselves a game. Will for uh, Leonard being only 19, looking very calm, very relaxed in there. He's going to sit down in the cage as Nino is making his way into the cage. Referee Gene Peters is going to get the action started. Preparing for his seventh professional mixed martial arts fight on Saturday on the biggest stage of his career in Atlantic City. As Karen Loftus reports, it's his next chance to continue climbing the MMA ladder. Background about Christian. Another classic Virginia fighter. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's actually sort of scary because this guy shows up. Nick Smith versus Christian Leonard. Christian Leonard's coming to us from uh, Christiansburg, Virginia with Allison Haynes. Uh, this guy is supposed to be the future of MMA coming out of Virginia. Uh, he's only 18 years old. Holy cow. He has 6 and 0 as an amateur, 1 and 0 as a pro. Now, like I said, with Virginia, some things don't show up. And I think we've already found two contests mm -hmm. that's not on his record. So he's at least 8 0 oh, yeah. as an amateur and 1 0 as a pro. I don't know how you do that when you just turned 18 years old. I think because of Virginia, they can fight like when they can. At just 18 years old, Christian Leonard is already a professional athlete. Christian Leonard reverses it. I've seen a lot of reverses. Yeah. I don't think Pat White liked that knee. Well, you're going to see an, yeah, the word all around fighter gets thrown around a lot. That moniker is not wasted on this young man right here. He is in spectacular shape. He can beat you on the, on the feet, he can beat you on the ground. And uh, he's just getting started by this at all, you know? Uh, not at all. Oh, Ooh, clipped him! Right hand. And now Brent's, uh, Brent's attacking a triangle here. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's oh, it, that's oh, it, it's oh. done. Wow. Not much more to say. You're a terrifyingly talented young man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your winner, Christian Leonard. That hurt, Nuno. Nice knee to the face, too. Oh. Nice head move by Christian. Here's a blitz forward. Landed a few body shots there. Amateur uh, career, a lot of fights. Christian, another guy. Uh oh. Wow, Christian's yeah, nice touching Nate up here. Yeah, he did. Nice I knee. Think he hurt him. Oh. Wow, Christian uh, is a big, strong, athletic kid, and he's touched Nate a couple yeah, times. He's definitely got uh, you know, Nate on the on the, on the And he's collecting this.
Uh, this kid is phenomenal. He's just came coming off a huge victory over Brett Hess, who was the number one featherweight in the world amateur by the ISCF for two years. And Christian Leonard just beat Brett Hess. Nice combination by Christian right there. His striking is on another level than it was the last time we seen him, Mike. Nuno in the red and white gloves. Again, Nuno dropping those hands well. Gotta be careful. Because Christian landed a shot right there. Oh, big knee too. Ricky ate it, but it landed. Some improved Muay Thai from Christian Leonard here. He, he didn't display this. Leonard's landing some good shots on Nuno. The guys, two very talented guys. You see, he rings his bell Bang, a couple man. times. Man, there's here. another good shot with the man that right hand right in the top. Nice head movement by Christian right there. Ooh, he landed. Superman that punch. I heard him. He heard him. Leonard rushed in. He's here trying to recover right now. Bradley trying to pull guard there. And he wants to stay on the ground. He's looking at ref. He's looking at ref. Well, I said it last time, I'll say it again. You're very, very exciting and very dangerous, young man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Christian Leonard. He taps Christian Leonard. I'll tell wow. you what, John. I am renaming this kid right now. This is Christian the Legend Killer Leonard. Jeez, man. Oh, and Leonard drops Nuno with a short shot. Only a few seconds left in the round here. The last lands for Christian. Both guys. Christian drops him again. Nice left hook from Christian. He really sat on that punch. And now Ricky's bleeding from that knee. From that knee. Ah, he cut him open. And have the referee come it's in and dripping. check the cut. Oh, Look bad at that, cut. dude. Look at that. Bad, bad cut. That's it. Well, you know what? We'll see, we'll see how they do it here in PA. I mean, it would be too bad if that right, stopped the fight. Right too. by the hairline there, Will. It's a vertical cut right by the hairline. 